In Russia, on the shores of the Baltic Sea, there's an enigmatic national park. The Dancing Forest is a place that no scientist has managed to explain so far. The pine trees of the forest are all crooked and twisted into loops and spirals. The forest didn't appear until the early 60s, when the pines were planted in order to make the sand dune in that area more stable. One theory is that it's the unstable sand that made the trees twist in such a way. Other theories for the crooked trees are strong winds, or even supernatural powers. Some people say the forest is a place where positive and negative energies meet, twisting the trees. Local legend says that if a person climbs through one of the rings of a tree, it'll add an extra year to this person's life, or they'll be granted a wish. I like that one. Speaking of bizarre trees, and I was, one grows in the region of Piedmont, Italy. There, a cherry tree grows on the top of a mulberry tree. The strange thing is that both trees are perfectly healthy. A continuous storm at Saturn's North Pole has an odd shape, a hexagon. This is probably because of the gradient of the winds. The total length of this cloud pattern is 9,000 miles, which is about 1,200 miles longer than the Earth's diameter. The hexagon has been observed for many years, but it gets even more mysterious because it changes color too. It used to be turquoise, but it has recently shifted to a golden color. The reason for the color change is that the pole gets exposed to sunlight as the seasons change. Now, rain isn't unusual for Oakville, Washington. However, this one still doesn't have any solid scientific explanation. Instead of common raindrops, people watch translucent jelly-like blobs fall from the skies. These blobs covered about 20 square miles. Those who got really close to the rain experienced flu-like symptoms. What were the blobs? Researchers claim that the blobs contain human white blood cells. Later tests showed no presence of nuclei. Some people claim the blobs might have been evaporated jellyfish resulting in rain, or maybe even waste from a commercial plane. Walking rocks, also known as sailing rocks, move across the Death Valley National Park in California without any external intervention, leaving long trails in the dirt and sand along their way. Various time-lapse footages of the moving rocks have been taken. Scientists even installed GPS navigators on some of the rocks, and it showed that the rocks move at a considerable speed. Some researchers believe that the movement is due to thin sheets of ice that form overnight at freezing temperatures in the valley, letting the rocks move until it melts during the day. Or there was a Rolling Stones concert. Nah. The Batageka crater in Siberia looks like a doorway to the underworld. It's about a half mile long and over 280 feet deep, but it never stops growing. As it gets deeper, it exposes more underground layers. The layers show what our planet looked like thousands of years ago, as the slumps reveal the used-to-be climates. The crater appeared back in the 60s, and it all started with rapid deforestation. Trees no longer cast shade on the ground, and it got hotter. The permafrost melted, resulting in the crater formation. The throbbing hum in Taos, New Mexico has driven locals wild since the 1990s. The low-frequency hum deprives people of sleep and depletes their energy. Even though scientists have tried to find the source of the hum, they still haven't pinpointed its origin. Different variations of the hum have also been heard in the UK, Australia, Canada, and other areas of the US. Luckily, only about 2% of the world's population can hear it. The hums have been blamed on mechanical devices, multiple disturbances of auditory systems, and even animals. The West Seattle hum, for example, was blamed on toadfish. Fairy rings, also known as elf rings or pixie rings, are mysterious rings of mushrooms that appear in grasslands and forested areas. There's a lot of debate about why these fungi form a nearly perfect circle. Some superstitions claim that fairy dances would burn the ground, causing mushrooms to rapidly grow. In Costa Rica, there's an assortment of about 300 spherical stone balls. Locals call them las bolas, which is simply the balls in English. These stones have an almost perfect round shape. 
Some of them are huge, weighing up to 16 tons each. They're also made of different materials – gabbro, limestone, and sandstone. They're considered to have been put in straight lines in front of the chief's houses, but there's no precise information of their origin. Some myths claim that these stones originated in Atlantis. Mm. If you ever travel to the Mekong River in late October, you have a chance of seeing glowing balls rising from the water and beelining up into the air. Locals call these glowing balls the Naga Fireballs. The size of the lights vary. The reddish balls can be as tiny as a spark and as large as a basketball. There can be dozens to thousands of balls a night. Scientists don't have any solid explanation for why it happens, but it could be due to flammable gases released by the marshy environment. Some superstitious locals are sure it's all because of a giant serpent living in the Mekong. Great balls of fire! In Minnesota, on the north shore of Lake Superior, there's a park known for the Devil's Kettle. This is a waterfall that splits in two. One part of the river continues, while the other part disappears into a hole in the ground. Whatever object you throw into the Devil's Kettle won't reappear. Scientists still haven't fully explained where the water that drops into the hole goes. Devil's Kettle is considered to be unsafe for people because it's nearly impossible to trace the flow. Yeah, not a place to go tubing. Grunions are fish known for their bizarre mating ritual. The females climb out of the water and onto the shore. They dig their tails into the sand in order to lay eggs. The legs stay hidden in the sand, waiting. Ten days later, the high tide comes, washing the newly hatched young to the sea. Scientists still can't give any solid explanation for this way of breeding. People who live in rural central Norway over the Hestalen Valley can often witness floating lights of white, yellow, and red cross the sky. The lights appear both at day and night, and once back in the 80s, they were spotted 15 to 20 times in a single week. The Hestalen lights can last just a few seconds, but sometimes they can last more than an hour. The lights move, seeming to float or even sway around. Some scientists believe that the reason for these lights is due to ionized iron dust. Others say it's combustion that includes sodium, oxygen, and hydrogen. Many people claim they're just misidentified aircrafts. Yellowstone Park has a famous boiling lake, but it's not the world's only place of boiling water. Deep in the Amazon, there's the 4-mile Chanay Tempishka River that's always hot. The name means boiled by the sun. Well, it's not exactly boiling, but it can reach 196 degrees Fahrenheit, enough to cook pasta. Ooh, let's try that. The lowest temperature in these waters is about 113 degrees. This river still can't be scientifically explained because it would require close proximity to a volcano for the water to reach such temperatures. However, the closest volcano is 400 miles away. But there could be a fault between the Earth that could explain this phenomenon. In western Venezuela, locals living close to the Catatumbo River aren't afraid of lightning because they see it almost every single night. It starts at around 7 o'clock and doesn't stop until dawn. The everlasting Catatumbo lightning did once stop for a few months, from January to March 2010. It was probably due to drought, or maybe the charge ran out. In 1991, a scientist suggested that the phenomenon happens because of cold and warm air currents meeting in the area. Another theory is that the lightning could be due to the presence of uranium in the bedrock. Speaking of lightning, I got a bolt! Bye!